In this lesson, we'll explore employment of the Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, or AMRAAM. The AMRAAM replaced the older AIM-7 Sparrow with improved range, guidance, weight, and an embedded radar seeker in the nose cone. This allows the AMRAAM to guide on target without support from the host aircraft as the missile closes with the target. This in turn allows the launch aircraft to maneuver without loss of missile guidance to the target. The AMRAAM can be queued to targets with the Hornet's radar, or it can be launched at a close range just using the missile's seeker. As with all air-to-air -air missiles, engagement range is highly dependent on engagement aspect, launch altitude, and launch speed. You will see much greater launch distances at 30,000 feet on a closing target than 5,000 feet on a receding target. I currently have the lesson paused. To select the AMRAAM, press right on the weapon select switch, or press left shift and D. Do this now. Let's first take a look at the AMRAAM format page on the left DDI. In the top left corner of the DDI, at push button 6, is the size selection. By pressing on the push button, you have selections to set weapon fusing size to small, medium, and large sized targets. We'll be shooting down some drone MiG-29s, so select small. To the right of the size selection is the radar cross section, or RCS selection. Upon pressing this push button, you have options to set the expected radar cross section of the target between small, medium, and large. Go ahead and set it to small. Along the right side of the DDI at push button 13 is the step push button. Successive presses cycle the selected AIM-120 stations. You can see AIM-120 loading on the wing form with AB for AIM-120B and AC for AIM-120C. The selected rail stations include the SEL indicator and dual rail stations with indications for right and left rail on the station. Press spacebar to continue. When we selected the AIM-120, we also set the radar on the right DDI to the AIM-120 default settings. These include a range scale of 40 miles, a two-bar scan, an azimuth of 140 degrees, and an interleaved PRF. Let's keep these as is. Press spacebar to continue. The large dashed circle is the most obvious indication of AMRAAM selection. This indicates the seeker field of view if launched with no radar lock first. This is termed Mad Dog Launch, and the AMRAAM will lock on to intercept the first target it detects within the dashed reticle area out to 10 miles. Below the dashed reticle is the designation for the selected weapon, AB for AIM-120B and AC for AIM-120C. Below that is a visual indication, meaning there is no radar lock, and if launched now, the missile would be in Mad Dog mode. Press spacebar and I'll add some drone targets. On the right DDI radar page, we see a target, or called a hit, on the radar. Let's lock it up by moving the throttle designator controller, or TDC, over it and locking it up. We do this by using the TDC switch on the throttle or by pressing period, comma, backslash, and semicolon to slew it. Once the two vertical bars of the TDC are over the hit, press down on the TDC switch or press the enter button. Once the target is locked, press spacebar to continue. With the target locked up, some new information is now available on the HUD. On the HUD is a large solid circle that acts as both the AIM-120 allowable steering error circle and as the normalized in-range display or nerd circle. Fly to keep the small steering dot inside the circle to give the missile the best chance of reaching the target. Along the outside of the circle are three triangle nerd indications. The one at 6 o'clock position is the missile maximum range, also called RMAX. Counterclockwise from it is the no escape range, also called RNE. When target range is within RNE, the target could change course and the missile would still have the energy to reach the target. The third indication near the 2 o'clock position of the nerd circle is the missile minimum range, called R-min. The line inscribing the circle indicates target range, and you want this between R-max and R-min to launch the missile. Also on the HUD is a box or diamond that indicates the line of sight to the locked target. A box indicates a friendly target, and a diamond indicates it as a hostile. If you see a large X across the HUD and radar display, your range to the target is less than the minimum range indication. 
When the target is between our max and our min, the steering dot is inside the ASE circle and weapon is armed, the shoot cue will appear and you can launch the missile by pulling the trigger on the stick or by pressing the spacebar. When between RNE and R min, the shoot indication will flash. Press spacebar to continue. Along the right side of the HUD are three lines of information. The top line is an indication of closure velocity, V sub C, and below that is target range in miles. Further down on the right side of the HUD is the timer field. When the locked target is outside the range of the AIM-120 radar seeker, the value will display the time from missile launch at which the AMRAM seeker will turn on and hunt down the target. This is shown as the time in seconds and then ACT. Once the range of the seeker in the AMRAM is less than approximately 10 miles, the time changes to time to go until the missile impacts the target. This is displayed as remaining time and then TTG. The ACT and TTG will be in reference to the last AIM-120 launched. When the target range is 15 miles, launch an AMRAM by pressing and holding the trigger. If the first does not succeed, try again. Splash 1. Go ahead and lock up the target flying towards you and press spacebar. Don't engage it. If you don't see one on the radar, press the up arrow on the radar to increase its display range. Take a look at the air-to-air -air radar format on the right DDI. You'll note that much of the information on the HUD is duplicated there and includes an ASC circle, shoot cue, steering dot, and range indication as along the azimuth steering line to the target. The locked target has the antenna azimuth line running through it and has its speed as Mach to the left and its altitude to the right. The RMAX, RNE, and RMIN are displayed along the antenna azimuth line. When the AMRAM is launched, a triangular fly-out symbols appears on the azimuth steering line and travels to the target. Once the missile seeker is active, an A appears below the fly-out symbol. To break a lock, press the undesignated button on the stick or press S. Press spacebar to continue. As noted earlier, you can also use the AMRAM with no radar lock. Termed visual mode, simply fly to place a target within 10 miles inside the HUD reticle and launch the missile. The AMRAM will go after the first target it detects, hostile or friendly. Practice using the AIM-120 against the remaining drones and press escape when you wish to end the lesson.